So these are the basic elements that you can see inside the teaching guides or LMS. Okay? Sige, Joe. So yan yung makikita nyo. So merong first part dyan yung introduction, objectives, pre-assessment, learning goals and targets, what to know, what to process, what to understand, and what to transfer. Okay? And then, sige, Joe. Ayan. No, no. Ayan. Hanggang down sa resources. So these are the basic elements that we can see inside the LMs and TGs. Now let's go one by one. Let's try to look at the introduction. The introduction should be able to provide a big picture of what is expected to be learned in the module. Tignan niyo yan kung tama. Okay? Meron ba yan sa module? Comply ba yan? And then, there should be a clear direction and purpose of the module. Why do we need to learn this lesson in this module? Meron ba siya? Okay? So, any, uh, that is an overview. Okay? That is under the introduction. Now, in the objectives, you should be able to, com the, the material should be able to comply with those three questions. It should define the enabling knowledge and skills to develop the desired competencies. Remember, in, your learning in, in the learning competencies column, you should be able to look at the knowledge, skills, process, and even understanding. So, the transfer of learning can be found in the performance standard. It should lead to the attainment of content and performance standards. Attainment of the content and performance standard. It should also clarify expectations in, in terms of what the students should know, be able to do, understand, and produce, or perform as evidence of the transfer of learning. So these are the basic questions that you should ask to yourself when you go through the materials. Pre-assessment. Does it employ valid, varied assessment tools? Yan. So yung pinag-usapan natin kanina. Hindi pwede puro multiple choice or objective types of tests. You can make use of multiple assessment tools. Does it cover the entire lesson of the module? Or baka nahati-hati kahit yung napakaliit na lesson ginawang isang module? So one concept, one module. Okay? Learning goals, ito ay para sa mga bata naman ito. Okay? na kung saan, bago sisimulan ng mga bata yung pag-aaral doon sa modules, they are given the opportunity to define their targets and goals. Does it provide learners the opportunity to define their personal learning goals and targets? So nandan yan, may provision siya dyan sa learning guide. LMs and TGs. So part one, oh, ito na yung pinakaano, what to know, what to process, what to understand, and what to transfer. So, part one, does this part of the module provide the following? Okay? Activities to draw or determine prior knowledge of the learner, or this is the pre-assessment. Dapat meron yun. Iba una-una yun. Opportunity to introduce provocative and critical questions essential to the development of understanding. Meron ba yun? Okay. Is there an opportunity to identify and clarify misconceptions among the students? So before you start reading the materials, meron ba doon maring tanong na dinodraw yung misconceptions ng mga bata? O pa paraan para malaman na meron misconceptions yung mga bata? Okay. Another Try to look at the appropriateness and sufficiency of the reading materials given in the teaching guides and LLs. Baka naman masyadong maiksi yung reading. Tapos puro processing na, puro activity. Okay? Appropriateness and sufficiency of the reading materials. And of course, the use of multimedia resources to enable learners to acquire adequate and relevant information. Meron ang provision doon na pinagsasearch yung mga bata o mag-internet uh, mag yung mga bata para madagdagan yung kanilang uh, reading materials. Differentiated instruction. Okay? 
So napakinggan niyo na kanina si Ma'am Chonet at nagbigay siya ng mga core principles on differentiation as far as instruction is concerned. Okay? And also an assessment of students' knowledge in terms of relevance and adequacy to develop understanding. Yan. So dalawa yung criteria na tinitignan natin pagdating sa knowledge level. Yung relevance at saka adequacy of information acquired by the students. So that's under knowledge. What to know. Next, what to process. It should comply again with those, uh, it should comply or it should respond to those uh, questions. There should be differentiated activities that will require students to process or make sense of the information. Like uh, acquired during the knowledge process, okay? the knowledge part. And then an assessment of student skills. So every level, dapat meron kayong assessment. Formative assessment. Questions that will enable students to construct their own meanings or understandings and express this in their own way. So usually, they are in the form of questions or activities. Please look them, uh, please try to look at uh, these, these things in your LMs and TGs. Next. Part 3, what to reflect and understand. So there should be an additional activities and reading resources to enrich or broaden the understanding of the students. So these are on top of what is given in the second part. Or even in the first part. Okay? Additional. And also another provocative or critical questions that will draw the learner's core understanding. If you will, uh, if you remember our uh, 2010 SEC, we usually indicate the essential understanding in all our content and performance standards. But this time you can draw this from your students. And of course, as teachers, you should know what are the essential understanding or core understanding that the student should bring with them in relation to that content and performance standards. Does this part of the mode, okay, last part, yung ano, yung what to transfer. So you have to look at the teaching guides and LMs if they have an overview or clear instructions of what is expected from the students to do in that part, yung product and performance. And then there should also be an opportunity for the learner to transfer their learning through a product or performance. So this was already defined in your curriculum guide. There should also be a description of the tools for assessing the product or performance. In other words, you should come up with your scoring guide on how to assess the product or performance. Okay? So, hindi kayo makakaligtas sa paggawa ng rubrics. Gagawa talaga kayo. Okay? Others that you have to consider. Try to look at the visuals, relevant visuals, illustrations, or pictures. Are they relevant to the text? Kasi minsan meron tayong test ganito. Pabasahin mo yung text, pag nakita mo yung picture, wala siyang kaugnayan doon sa binasang text ko. Do you agree? So dapat, kung ano yung visuals, ano yung pictures, illustrations, may kaugnayan doon sa binasa. Youth language appropriate to the learner's level of understanding. Kung grade 7, grade 8, yun bang mga lingwahe na ginamit, ginamit ay para sa grade 8. Baka naman para sa grade 1. O baka mo para sa senior high school students or college students, masyadong matataas. Okay? Lalo na pag masyadong uh, maraming ano, vocabularies yung writer na gumawa. Okay? So appropriateness of the language used as far as the levels of students' understanding. And also it should provide organization from simple to complex. 
Others, provide an appropriate integration. Take note, kasi marami tayong mga social issues and government trust na kailangan integrate, appropriate to MAPE. For example, yan, ICT. Definitely, hindi tayo may, ma, mawawala sa integration ng ICT. Okay, di ba? Dahil uh, lagi natin na uh, pinagre-report mga bata, lagi natin silang pinagre-research. So, pag nag-report, gusto natin gumamit ng PowerPoint. LCD. Okay? So, ICT integration to deliver the curriculum. Of course. DRR. Ano yung DRR? Disaster Risk Reduction, Climate Change, Sex Education, RH Field, Ano pa? Gender Development. Ano pa yung mga issues na dapat integrate natin? HIV AIDS, Peace Education, Drug Education, but these are, some of them are already part of the lesson. And then, The last part will be the glossary of terms. Meron ba tayong glossary of terms na nilagay dyan? And list of resources, it should be print and non-print. Annotated. So basically, those are the things that you need to look into the learning guide or learning materials and teaching guides. So yan, sinamarize ko na lang yan dyan. Okay? Klaro ba? Saya cuma bilis. At least you have you have in mind what you're going to look into sa ating materials. Ah, may question? Sir, we were we were given that activity to look into the conceptual errors of the module yesterday. Then that should have been given ahead. So we are asking again a copy of that now, so we can answer correctly the assignment given. Um, may I know the consensus of the body? Ma'am, ang pinapano sa inyo ay yung content lang, di ba? Pinapareview content. Pero hindi okay lang yun. Should be guided with the some of the questions. Pero pinakita ko lang yung kabuuan ng teaching guides na makikita nyo dyan. Yes, sir. Tapos ano yung mga guide questions na pwede nyo ano? Yes, sir. Kasi that is also our guide na kung we will be preparing the lesson plans or other Sige po. Magpaprint kami tapos ano. Thank you, sir. Pero huwag nyo ano, huwag nyo nang i-disregard kung ano yung mga nakita nyo. Kasi pag inulit nyo ulit yan from the start, wala na. Based from the given guide questions, hindi at least meron tayong ano lang. Nabigyan tayo ng idea what to look into the materials. Okay? Yun lang ba ang concern? So, wala nang tanong, marinig. Maraming salamat po. Okay, so...